Hello, <laughs> Mr. Red here. Today is October the 8th, 2021. And I just got a call just a few minutes ago from the gift shop saying, Jeff, we know you just brought us 12 cases of honey on Thursday, but we only got one case left. So you need to bring us some more honey. So I'm headed up to the, to the honey house right now. And we got to load up the bottler pump some honey out of a drum, load up that bottle and bottle up some honey. Let's get inside there and by the grace of God, we'll get some honey to that gift shop before tomorrow. And that's the setup. I mean, it's so sweet. We have our pump right here. It's gonna be hooked up to the valve on the bottom right here. It's gonna go through the pump and then hold it and we're gonna fill up the bottle. And let me show you. Yeah, that bottle is empty. <laughs> However, Let's pop the lid off of this drum. Oh yeah, but we got lots of honey in this drum. There's still probably, gee whiz, I, I guess there's 20 plus gallons in this one already. And you'll see the, see the foam on the top of that. And this is the great thing about the pump, that since I'm pumping the honey off of the bottom, it comes out so clean. And I just pump it out until I get a little bit of the foam come out and then I stop. But I don't think that's gonna happen on this one. So I'm gonna hook up the valve, get that hose primed, and we're gonna pump some honey. I'll open the spigot. The honey will start coming out and start priming our hose. And then once this gets primed, then the pump will be able to pump it up and then pass it on through. So let's open it up, get that honey to start coming out and what I found really amazing this year that our honey is not even starting to crystallize last year it's the same honey uh, the tower privet honey and last year it started crystallizing within four weeks this year we're now <laughs> four months since we've processed this stuff and it still isn't even thinking about crystallizing so you can see just the pressure from the honey in the drum is pushing that honey and it'll push it all the way up to the top. And once it gets to the top, then I'll go ahead and plug the pump in and we'll start filling up our bottle. It's almost there. All right, I think it ought to be up high enough. We're almost there. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Start filling up this bottle. Let me give you a shot of how much honey we took out of that drum. You can see that's where our line was. And now we're down probably about, I guess, eight, nine inches down. And we got our bottle filled up. So I probably have one more good filling up of our bottler. And then we'll have to get into another drum. And now if the bottler is full, and normally I would drain the honey lines in here, but because we're so near to Christmas and there's such a demand for the honey, I'm going to fill all this honey into jars, that are probably about 14 or 15 cases of that. And then I'm gonna fill up the bottle again for the next time. Still probably getting another order for honey within two weeks, I'll probably get another order. And that way I'll have the honey already ready for them. So that's it, it's really, it's such a great, this pump, I love this pump. It makes, it makes the process of getting our honey from their drums, that we just put the honey from when we process it, and we just dump it in the drums, and then from the drums, it goes right into our, our bottle. So that's all I got for you in this one. But on Saturday, this Saturday, the 13th of November, I'm gonna be going live again. 
So I'll be over at the house showing you what, what I've got going on over there, what we've got done, and that's probably been about a month since I did any updates on that. So that's the next time you're going to see me on Saturday. Post this video on Friday, and then we'll see you live on Saturday. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching. I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out of here until Saturday.